subscribe for the very latest. What up, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, world, Facebook? Everybody listen to the sound of my voice. I have a, a cool way for y'all to get free merch from us and support the channel at the same time. But this is all. You, this is what you got to do. All you got to do is, first of all, subscribe to the channel. Click. Don't cost you no money, right? Just click. Hit the bell. Yep, yep. Free, right? That's step number one. Step number two, leave a comment. It don't matter what you leave. It could be the letter C. It could be the it could be the fire emoji. It could be the crown. Whatever emoji you want to leave on there, just leave an emoji. Step three is up to us. All we're going to do, we're going to put you on the drawing. Now, listen, you can put your name in on as many as many videos as you want. The more videos you leave a comment on or emoji, whatever you want to leave, the more times you get added in the drawing. Right, you're gonna draw your name, and we're gonna send you the merch. Simple as that. Real easy. All you gotta do, follow those steps, and we will send you some merch. All right. Subscribe for the very latest. in Buffalo, Florida paid me, came a long way since some days in the early 80s, two to be exact, plus one, three sons, same mother, my pops did a lot of time, I am not here to self-indict or confess to any crimes, no, life's a hustle, gotta read between the lines, he understood streets though, learned economics, helped us survive through life's endowments, I'm a grind hard today cause tomorrow ain't promised in my hood, well it's like the summer rain more than Carl Thomas, Lost a few good ones, we still pay homage Some say they can't work for no one They're a business man, I understand Can't knock it, that's your business man Just don't judge my route, I put food in my seat's mouth We'll move on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so Some time ago, me, Trim, shout out to QB3 Yep, yep. Uh, oh, by the way, before I before I get into this, the the song you heard before we got on was a freestyle by O Mugs. Y'all didn't hear it, but they wear it. Um, the Renaissance Project. So me, me. So if y'all don't know, Trim is a producer. He's my top five producer. I try to be my top. He's my top five. My top five. I don't listen. Y'all can get, get your own top five. That he's my top five. He's number five of my top five. And we got an album coming out called The Renaissance Project. Right? It's by our, our artist O Mugs. It be it, it'll be it'll be out really really soon. And y'all gonna have an opportunity to buy it early. You know what I'm saying we're gonna get we're gonna have we're gonna package that up like something really really nice and give y'all some merch with it and y'all also get a chance when y'all get the package y'all be also y'all also get the opportunity to just scan it and listen to the album early that would be our gift to you once you buy the gift of course There's nothing wrong with supporting your, your favorite artists you know what I'm saying you know but but we just trying to something different we're gonna we're gonna pack so it's gonna be a gift we're gonna package up you know we're gonna package up as a gift and uh, you can purchase it. We, we don't have the prices, but but just want to let you know this is real. It's, it's some to me one of the best hip hop albums I heard in a while. You know what I'm saying? Just the lyricism, you know, uh, and all of that. So yeah, Renaissance in stores very soon. We'll we'll, we'll bring y'all. 
I, I will bring y'all a single, single listen to and everything. Um, but Basically. shout out to old mugs. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to the realest old mug, the realest. That's my homie, man. That's my homie. But um, the realest. Now with that, yeah, he, you know. He's I'm gonna play a little bit of hopscotch real quick, though. I'm gonna jump onto another. Okay. Bet. So, so with that being said, Jermaine. So QB three. I want. I, I said that because QB three is on is on the Renaissance project. So, so you know. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I think they both 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 of them made it on there. Just one. I think. Uh, All of them, man. Where oh, where, oh. where are you in it, man? QB three. Shout out Beast Mode. Yeah. Shout out. Uh, it, uh, shout out. Uh, Dot Key. Jackie, whatever that's his name. Okay, anyway, <laughs> leave him alone, man. Leave him alone. Oh, but, wait, but, real, real quick, Beast Mode also got some coming up by the end of this month, so he's gonna he's gonna bless us with a a, a nice a nice little uh a nice little foray of 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 some wholesome good instrumentals. So I yeah, can see that. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get we gonna, listen. We listen. This this King's Republic, man. We we getting it in. We gonna be gonna trust me by next year. We are gonna have a full album out, all of that. It's gonna be it, it, we got. We already got a full album out with Trim. Trim got a whole instrumental album out. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all go check that out. <laughs> uh, you know. So, but we had QB3 on, and we talked about Diddy versus Jermaine Dupri. Definitely. And um, yeah, it was it was almost a consensus that. Bad boy would smash so so death. That's y'all consensus. Man. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. That's, that's not my consensus. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me let me let me not let me not use smash. Cause I did say it was gonna be close. Mm. I did say it was gonna be close, but I think that Diddy was gonna win. Bad boy would win, right? So that's when we back when when it was actually like a talk. That was yeah. last was that last year? It was that last year or early. That this was year? last. That was last. That was uh, that was last year. It was it early, like late last early. year around this time, right? Yeah, yeah around yeah. this time last year. So now they're going to actually do an unofficial versus mm. Diddy versus Jermaine Dupri. So the only person that was not here in that conversation was Walt, right? Definitely. Yeah. So. I want to get your take on this wall, and I, and and I, I want to. I, I got some other maybe you know obviously Trim won't jump in as well, but and I got some other things that I want to say. Just kind of you know change a little bit from the last time we talked. But what what you think about this? Jermaine Dupri versus Diddy in the verses, non verses, and a non a ver a non verses. <laughs> non verses. And the reason why we say non verses is because it's not going to be under the umbrella of verses. They're, they're going through some issues right now. Yeah, ver, ver, basically, uh, you know, Timbo and Swizz is like, "Yo, I need the rest of my dough." And they 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 put that, they got a lawsuit going on with with, yeah. with Triller right now for yeah, Triller, twenty eight yeah. mil. Yeah, they need to pay up, pay up, pay up. Yeah, tr- <laughs> Triller, Triller ain't Triller ain't pay up the rest of that dough. Yeah. But what you think, dog? Um. Pre. Yep, Jermaine Dupri versus Diddy. Who you think winning? So so death, bad boy. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> bad boy. What am I missing now? Outside of Biggie, Mace, and Rap. That's Kim. That's ah, 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 bad boy. Ah. Bad boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna have to rock with Diddy because I, I love Jermaine Dupri, yo. I really love a lot of them tracks, but if I gotta pick which one not, who's gonna, which one I'd rather listen to? Y'all doing that because y'all in New York. That's all. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all do that because y'all New York, man. But see, but you I, I would. Hey, you know what? You slick, you slick might be right. Yeah, you, you might be right. <laughs> this is certain songs I just know. Exactly. <laughs> I take y'all what? everything, every bad boy, and take y'all back to New York. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's New York. Man, I, listen, <laughs> bro, I went to the bad, the bad boy concert. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. 
I know, and, I, and I've seen the so so death. I've seen like the recording of the so so death one. Man, bruh, it ain't, it ain't, you know, it, 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 as far as like songs, I just, I just enjoy bad. But, but I'm going to say this though. I'm going to say this though for real. What's up? I don't know if it's going to be as close as I think is. Like, I don't think it's going to be like a, like a, a, a like a smash. Yeah, don't sleep the on me. The reason why I'm saying that is because Jermaine Dupri current stuff is, is, is fire. We talking about we talking about stuff he did for LMA, and that song he did. I think he did he did the song with LMA and Usher. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, we, and it's a lot of other stuff that we don't that we don't like we don't know that Jermaine Dupri had his hand on. I could have sworn I could have. I really, really believe I said something similar to that. And you might last have. time, <laughs> but you might have. But somebody, did, have. but somebody was so worried. He got up. He got up. He got up. Like ah, this is like, like this New York, yo. He got to nah. put that in there to where first, he, first, he first, wasn't first, hearing that. He wasn't hearing that. He wasn't first, hearing first, that. First of all, you weren't that. No, you weren't hearing that. Was I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little offended at, at, at your little <laughs> invitation to New York. So. I'm gonna need you to chill just, out. Bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm I'm, you, you I said out. that before. It's like there's some stuff. I'm pretty sure that Jermaine has done that we don't know he put his hands on and touched. It's like if it ain't if it I'll and I'll be the first to admit, if it ain't blast on the radio and you don't you don't hear that, y'all know what this is. Or if I didn't get personally get an album and look through the credits and find out that he did it, I don't know exactly what he did. So I don't know exactly everything that came out that he probably had a hand in touch. That's all I'm saying. Even including hip hop and R and B or whatever. The man's catalog is, is, I'm pretty sure it's pretty massive. That's all I'm saying. Subscribe for the very latest. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, but it, it's it's um, but I I think that when you when he started really like unpacking a lot of the stuff that he's done that that we don't know about, you know, I think I think it gets kind of close at that time. But see that at that time, I'm thinking like Bad Boy versus So So Death. That's how it was packaged. Mm-hmm. Bad boy versus so so death. But then when you think about when what what you know he's done in the um you know in that range of just other artists, like oh, you know, he did pressure. I forgot he did pressure. Not to, to mention the, 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 yeah, to Ari Lennon. But not to mm-hmm. mention, um, jumping back, you know he has something you know he uh I believe he wrote uh for another bad creation. He wrote Playground. Oh, he did that for ABC. Yeah, that wasn't Teddy Riley. Oh nah, God. he did that. He did that, and let, let, let's 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 see that's fact. Let's see, pull it up. But um, the reason why when Criss Cross came out, the reason why they were so much at ABC's neck is because Jermaine had felt some kind of way because when they deal got pushed through as far as working on the album, he wasn't included in to be working on that album, so he felt a certain kind of way and he came at him. So that's why, of course, he wrote for Criss Cross. And that's why in the lyrics they're saying some don't try to compare us to another bad little fad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it, was a, uh, it was a stab at ABC. So that's why there's well, his, there's history there. Well, listen, uh, he he ain't he ain't on here. He ain't on. He has no composer. He ain't up, I, he, He's not gonna be on the album. But he but he wrote for them. And I, I believe he. I think he wrote Playground, man. But all he, I'm saying is I'm looking at Playground right now. Is Michael Bivens. Which is obvious because he, he discovered them, and Dallas Austin mm-hmm. and Kevin Wells. I don't know who Kevin Wells is, but uh, you know that that that's that is um, that's what I have on here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the other. I'm gonna look at. I will look at some other stuff because remember Dallas Austin was heavy in their career. Oh, yeah, Dallas, Dallas Austin. Dallas Austin was is the is, is the man. Like 
next to Jermaine is Dallas is in the mix. Like oh, they, they don't want to with Dallas Austin. They don't want to with Dallas. Nah. They don't want to with Dallas. For Prince to know you, you don't want to with Dallas. That Dallas Austin is that dude, man. Yeah. Uh, nah. See, and, you know, now nah, I'm looking through. I'm looking through the crowd. I don't see Jermaine in here, but it, now here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Here's what I say too. Like, though I admit, you know, the, them current hits, the current hits is going to is definitely going to be uh, a challenge for Diddy. But it ain't going to be a win for Jermaine Dupri because it's too now. So, so, but here's the other thing. Here's the caveat because I don't know. I don't know what this what this verse is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to go back to the old. Like stop like on on the live when they in one place and he in another place. I don't think they would do it like that if if you know they want to do it right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So and y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Puff energy ain't really like it used to be. Brother Low. <laughs> brother Low don't follow. <laughs> yeah, you know. My brother love, brother love, I love you. I was, I was about to say something. I need to just cut. That's why I just bit my tongue. I don't even gonna say it. His energy ain't like it used to be. Like, you know, when he hit that stage, he used to be. And this is even going back to like, it's going back some years ago. He was still like that, you know, like he had that energy. But when I look at the 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 bad boy, no, the the Diddy. Um, it was on BET when they when they when they when Diddy got the Lifetime Achievement Award and he did the performance and I'm looking at this I'm like that bad boy that that Diddy energy is not where it used to be and the reason why I mention this is because that's a key thing to his performance. Well, he, he getting up there, man. <laughs> Think it has yeah. something to do with his age. He, I feel like the only thing he really gets amped for is um, like making more money. Like whenever I see him now on like Instagram or shit, whatever, if he's high in energy, it's because like he just sold something, <laughs> made some crazy money. He's, he's really on that whole wave of. He's like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking. This. So between Diddy, Kanye, one of them dudes trying to take over the world. I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm convinced now because he's just, he's just for real on that. Like, I can do anything I want. Hey, I've been they, seeing the videos. He be going, I can't do anything. Of course, man. They don't. They don't sell enough of they. They don't sell enough of they sold that they, they they'll be able to be in the runner for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that too loud. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm apologize. Listen, I I I think I don't know. Maybe maybe he's smoking too much weed. Maybe nah, that's it's, it's definitely about selling whatever amount of soul they got left. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it just ain't. It ain't there. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know, but. So, and, and the element of, you know, Jermaine brings out the right hit, hit with the right songs and the right people come out, he might squeeze a win in. That's the, only, right. that's the only way I would say that he would win. You know what I'm saying? Because if he, if, if he hit with the right new song, he bring the right person in. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna still stick with you know my first one, but I'm I, if if I see it and I'm you know and I look at it, I'm gonna be honest, like yo, nah, you made it pre guy. If we go by what the tradition so far has been with with verses, or if we if we, if, if we are, we're not calling this a verses or whatever. It's usually been the underdog, some kind of way has come in right. and right. been able to dominate it. Mm-hmm. It's very true. <laughs> it's very true. They, they, they taking it more seriously, and they yeah. and they got. They think of that more outside the box. Yeah, in this case, Jermaine is definitely the underdog in this. Mm-hmm. I agree. I said his hands is all over the industry. He's like worked with like mad artists, right? And mm-hmm. now, now, Janet Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he, 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 make, he ain't make no hits. He ain't make them hits like 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 the boys in the suits did though. He mean he was busy doing something mean, else. Janet mean. Jackson. <laughs> Right, yeah, that's true. Kind of hit, but uh, that's definitely the other hit. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. But you mean the boys, like you know, like Timmy Jam and Terry Lewis, of course. Yeah, them, those Prince proteges. Yeah, right. He 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 ain't, he ain't doing like <laughs> they did. They put it down, and they still putting it down. Well, they like, do it. Well, they definitely ain't doing like Jermaine did either. You put, like, apparently put it down too. Right. Yeah, they, they ain't put it. They ain't put the. They ain't put the down down. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they, they ain't going down, down, baby. <laughs> they, they, they ain't do that. But I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, you know, it's a lot of factors in this. Because based off of the fact that Diddy ain't cool with all his artists anymore. Not, not all of them, but a lot of them. You know, um, Diddy, the thing, but the thing, just kind of going to Diddy's side, though. Diddy can go. Diddy can go a lot of places with with the songs, dog. He can go. He can go R and B with Faith. Faith is classic. Faith is a classic. Two to me, I'm, I'm just going to say the two first albums. Classics. Just saying, Faith, Mary J. He done held down. He done held down. Uh, how many labels? He done held down uh, Uptown, Bad Boy, and he held down some, and he did a lot of gang, a gang of remixes. Yeah. So he can go r and He can go down. He can, he can hit the hood real quick. He can hit the hood. I mean, he, go, he can go to boys in the hood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can, he, he can, we can do that. They doing label for label. They doing it like that. They, he can go. He can go a lot of places. He can go, you know, the locks, money, power, respect. You know, it's just so many. You know, he, he just he can go to his own songs, and I, I Trimble will probably try to make an excuse for this one, but right. artist wise, did he got way more hits than Jermaine Dupri? Just, just, just album, just them and their their artist endeavor. Did he got? Collection? Diddy got some hits, you know. Yeah. He has some ghostwriters. <laughs> Great ghostwriters. Definitely. I mean, Diddy, Diddy definitely got some more. He, he has some more albums as an artist than Jermaine does. I think Jermaine only had like what two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he can do. I mean, me personally, I'm really tired of walking to Atlanta, but he can do that. I mean, but. I think he got more. He got more on both of them albums than just Welcome to Atlanta. That's all I got. No, nah, he got he got some joints. I, I'm not, but I'm saying I'm just saying the ones that the, the crowds is going to is really going to uh, connect with. You know what I mean? Like, um, trying to think what other Jermaine Dupri song. He, I mean, Jermaine can go go to the, um, them franchise boys. I, I you know that's 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 sneaky good right there. You know what I mean? Like franchise okay. boys. Huh? I mean, I really think like so. Where's the verses? Is it really just like totality versus totality? Because I mean, if we're talking about right. musician versus musician, I don't think it's a competition. I really think Jermaine Dupree is a much better musician than. Well, it's it's basically it's basically it's basically song for song. Which what, what songs you really put your hands on? You know what I'm saying? Like what 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 songs you really had your you know like what, what you might have wrote something you might have produced something you know um it's so many you know it, it's just basically what it, when you look at them credits what did you do for these particular songs and you know jermaine got a gang of Mar- uh mariah carey songs basically i mean you know did he got some too you know he, he, he can go he can go with he can go with that he can go with that um that fantasy remix he can go with that joint he did with Mace and the Locks. Um, you know, that remix that they had, you know, it's so, it's so, you know, they both got a, a good, well, I think that Jermaine has a more Mariah hits, but if they, you know, he ain't gonna play like a whole, he ain't gonna have like a Mariah versus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't doing that, but he definitely can go and pull out some Mariah Carey joints and Diddy got some too, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, but when you when you jump at the joints like money, power, respect. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he did he actually touch that song? Yeah, like well, here's what you gotta understand. Anything that the hitman has done, Diddy was right there. That's what you gotta understand. Like the the bad boy formula is that you know like. Any anything that that you know they might do, Diddy's going to I mean, yeah, Diddy's going to go and be like, all right, no, let's let's move this here, let's do this, let's make sure this is here. 
I'm I'm because here's the thing, he's not he's not the he's not a like the traditional producer, right? I think I would say that I, I would say that um Jermaine is probably more traditional producer than him. I'm trying to say that Puff is not a traditional producer like Dr. Dre to make the beats. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> um but he had his team. He had a team of hitmen. <laughs> You know, but to answer your question, let's. You know, I'm always curious to see these things. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, uh, of course. But see, the cool thing about Diddy is that he done put his voice on every all the bad boy song. <laughs> That's right. I have to take that. Uh -huh. Take that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I think that if I had if I had to go off the top of my head, I think Dame, I think Dame Grease did that song. I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let me look and see. I think Dame Grease did that song. Here we go. Money, power, respect. Who did that joint? Oh man, they don't got to produce on here. That's messed up. I, I gotta go. I gotta go somewhere else. Uh, oh nah, D dot. Uh, uh, D D Angeletti. Not D dot, but you know, mad rapper. Um, but you know, Diddy Diddy is Diddy is on. A, I mean, he can go. He can go a lot of places. I'm just naming songs, but it's just a lot of things that he can do that, that he's had his hands on that that's that would be pretty classic. But it will be a good versus, man. Yeah, I think it will be a good versus. It'll be interesting. Oh yeah, definitely. They got a date for that yet? Now, oh, you know what? I think they might. Hold on. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a G, man. And this, and if I see this versus, and Diddy ain't, you know. You know he ain't like up to par, right? You know I'm gonna say like I don't. I'm, I'm this is gonna be my, this is gonna be my. The the when I look at this and I look at this, I see that Diddy ain't really got like coming with the energy. I'm gonna just say he ain't got it. Like I'm I'm, I'm honestly say that because you know with Bad Boy comes Diddy energy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that that's that energy that 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 he brings to it. It, it it's important. And I'm looking at his face, man. You know, I don't know something ain't right, man. <laughs> you just right. not saying. You just not realizing. No, no, no. I've been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been saying that. I've been saying that for a minute. <laughs> Maybe it's passed on to uh, what's his name? What? Uh, his son. Can't stop. Won't stop. Oh, they, they. You know, he's he's doing his thing though. Oh uh, yeah, Whatever yeah. He's he he doing his thing. Bad boy. Yeah, like his son. He has over. He drops one hit every summer. Basically. Yeah, he got, he, got, he he did a song. He did a song with um. He did Kodak the song Black. with uh. What's his name? Kodak Black. Yeah, Kodak Black. That's pretty dope. I can't yeah, even lie. I thought it was well done. Can't stop. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought it was kind of dope. I can't find that date, but when we find out, you will know. <laughs> Oh, no, but yeah, shout out to y'all, man, for keeping the culture going and celebrating music. That's for me, that's the most important thing celebrating music.